Thanks very much for joining us. You know, uh, sooner or later, the leadership changes, whether it's on Beacon Hill or at the helm of the two state parties. And just recently, we've had a change at the top of the Massachusetts Democratic Party, and the new chairman is here with us this morning. He's Steve Kerrigan. Uh, he is a former staffer for Senator Ted Kennedy and a National Party official who was the Democratic nominee for Lieutenant Governor of Massachusetts in the 2014 election. Steve, welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Congratulations. Thank I you. guess now you're officially in the cat herding business. Yes. Which is what they uh, <clears throat> often describe having to uh, organize Democrats Indeed. as. Yeah. Uh, everything is rosy for Massachusetts Democrats right now, right? You control everything, uh, solid majorities in the legislature, all the uh, top sure. elected offices. How do you guard against complacency? Uh, so my old boss, um, Senator Kennedy, first of all, thanks for having me. I appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here. Um, my old boss, Senator Kennedy, used to always um, remind folks never to rest on your laurels, that um, uh, as you're having successes, you need to build on those uh, and make sure that you shore them up and continue to grow, whether it's legislatively or electively. Uh, and I think that's what we need to guard against. But first, people are voting for Democrats because Democrats have the vision and the policies and the principles uh, and the legislation that they support. And they're doing uh, the things that really matter for people most in Massachusetts. We have to continue to do that, which I know our delegation will continue to do, and the, certainly the governor will. Uh, and so we'll, we'll continue to grow on that over the next uh, year or two. Well, back in the mid to late 1980s, I was just a young boy at that time, but Same. I do remember it. Yeah, I'm sure, <laughs> sure you were. Uh, it was budgetary mismanagement and tax policy that fueled the Republican gains of 1990 and touched off the era of sort of Republican dominance of the governor's yeah. office. Well, just the other day, we learned that April revenues yeah. uh, fell way short of estimates. Uh, just one month's results, okay, but still uh, a little bit of a warning flag here. Is it deja vu all over again? Uh, look, I think um, as long as the Republican Party in Massachusetts um, is following the path of the Republican Party nationally, uh, the Democratic Party will continue to um, uh, have electoral uh, and legislative victories. The governor, um, I know, has a strong uh, fiscal plan. She's working hard with her administration. Just as many stories talking about uh, the reduction in tax revenues talk about how it is the one time, uh, the one month uh, 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 note data point, uh, and that more good uh, news is to come. And so I'm, I'm less worried about that and more worried about making sure that Democrats are pushing the message that on the Republican side, their decisions they have to make in the Republican State Committee is between extreme Trumpism and Trumpism, uh, rather than uh, talking about issues that actually matter. Now, if they were the Republican Party of Bill Weld, if they were even the Republican Party of Charlie Baker, it would be a much different story. But instead, they're still somewhat the Republican Party of Donald Trump here in Massachusetts. And I think if they're singing that song, the voters of Massachusetts aren't listening. Well, there are still plenty of voters around here who uh, are concerned about the high cost of sure. living, uh, feel like they maybe pay too much in taxes already, don't want to pay more. You've had the recent yeah. millionaire's tax that passed last fall that's uh, uh, of concern to some, and including Governor Healy yeah. in terms of the implications of that. And uh, Democrats on Beacon Hill appear to be, you know, uh, eager to spend, spend, spend. Uh, you I, know. Mean, I wouldn't call it eager to spend, spend, spend. They, what they did was their job. They passed a budget that I think addresses the, the um, issues concerning the people of Massachusetts. Now the Senate will take it up. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is the, the same process we go through every year. Um, I have um, the faith and confidence in legislative leaders to, to get the job done. But my job is to help elect, reelect, and support Democrats. And we're on a great path to continue to do that. All right, let's take a break. And sure. when we continue, we'll talk about some other issues that are weighing on both the voters and on the two political parties as we continue with the chairman the newly elected chairman of the Mass Democratic Party, Steve Kerrigan.